imagine being sent to space for a week but then getting stuck there for nine months. Sounds like a sci-fi nightmare, right? Well, for NASA astronaut Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore, this became a reality. Their return to Earth was delayed due to technical issues with the Boeing Starliner spacecraft, leaving them stranded on the International Space Station. Now, NASA and SpaceX have stepped in to bring them back home. But while this mission is a breakthrough, there's a bigger challenge waiting for them. The toll that months in space have taken on their bodies. Let's break down the effects of space travel on the human body and what these astronauts will face upon their return. Our bodies have evolved over millions of years to function in Earth's gravity, atmosphere and radiation levels. But space, it's a whole different story. In microgravity, your body undergoes changes that impact muscles, bones, eyesight and even your mental health. And space radiation, it can damage DNA and increase cancer risks. Researchers are working on countermeasures, but we still have a lot to learn about how different astronauts react to space conditions. On Earth, our magnetic field protects us from dangerous cosmic radiation. But in space, astronauts are exposed to high energy particles that can damage cells and lead to serious health issues. This is a major concern for future missions to the Moon and Mars, where exposure to space radiation will be even more intense. Zero gravity may look fun in videos, but it takes a serious toll on the body. Without gravity pulling down you on Earth, bodily fluids shift upwards, causing facial swelling and vision problems. Muscle shrinks, bone loose density and even the cardiovascular system struggles to function normally. Astronauts often experience dizziness and struggle with balance when they return to Earth. Living in space isn't just physically demanding, it's mentally exhausting as well. Imagine being in a small spacecraft for months with the same people. No fresh air and no real-time communication with family. This isolation can cause sleep problems, mood swings and even cognitive decline. Future deep space missions will need to address these psychological challenges. The longer an astronaut stays in space, the harder it is to readjust to life on Earth. While short trips might have minimal effects, astronauts who spend months in space often face long-term issues. Some, like bone density loss, can take years to recover. If they recover at all, others, like vision problems, may be permanent. Despite decades of research, we still have many unanswered questions about space flight's impact on human health. How does space affect lung function? How can we fully counteract bone loss? And perhaps the biggest mystery, how would pregnancy and childbirth work in space? Scientists are constantly studying astronauts to find answers. But for now, space travel remains one of the biggest challenges for human biology. As Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore prepare to return home, their journey isn't over. It's just beginning. The recovery will provide valuable insights into how the human body adapts to space and how we can better prepare astronauts for future missions. What do you think? Would you take the risk of a long-term space mission? Let us know in the comments. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe for more deep dives into the biggest stories in science and space. See you next time.